Hello crafty friends, this is number 20 in my full deck challenge. The products I mention in the video, I will put a link to those in the description below. We will start by adding a base for our color to adhere to. I know a lot of people ask if you need to prepare the card first because it has like a, a shiny surface. Some people like to sand it, some have suggested gesso. But what I do is I put a layer of Mod Podge and then I put a piece of tissue paper and put then Mod Podge on top of that too. And I have that as my base and then I can add any kind of medium on top of that. If you don't have Mod Podge, you could also use craft glue. And if you don't have tissue paper, you could also use a th one layer of a napkin. I've just noticed some of the edges hadn't stuck down quite well, so I'm just going over the little corners and making sure everything is stuck down properly. I'm now going to add gesso with my finger. I'm not doing it everywhere. I'm doing some areas more concentrated than others. It's already picking up some texture from the background tissue that I crumpled up a little bit. And all of this just adds to the layers and to the final effect of your card. This is um, Distress Grit Paste. Um, it's a Tim Holtz product and I really love using this. It's like a texture paste but it's a bit more gritty and it leaves a beautiful effect when different kinds of paints or uh, mediums go over it. I'm using a small palette knife and I'm just smearing it, some areas thicker, some areas thinner, sort of all over the card but not in a smooth effect. For the colour, I'm going to use my Colour Burst powders again. I really, really love using these. If you don't have these, you could also do this card with just um, watered down acrylics or watercolour paints. Um, you don't have to always use everything I'm using. If you don't have, use what you have. You can get a very similar effect with acrylic paints. I'm going to do each colour separately and dry in between. I just sprinkle some of the powder on add some water and then you can see the beautiful reaction it makes and then once I dry that I'm going to go into the next color I'm going for a rainbow effect so I'm going to go with from the fuchsia which looks more red orange yellow and so on and then I just leave it to run I do put a little bit of a wet paintbrush just to help the color along but I do tend to just move the card around with lots of water and let it do its own thing If you haven't seen these color burst powders before, they're just a super concentrated um, color powder and you just need a very, very little bit, just a small dusting and then when you add the water, it makes like what I call a color explosion and it's really, really a beautiful effect. I'll show you a close up at the end, but you can sort of see there where the grit paste is, the color dries um, in a different tone than there the parts where there is no good paste and that's why i like to use it because you get different levels of color depending on what's on the underneath layer i never get tired of seeing these color explosions i think this project is a great way to try new techniques and new mediums when um, you're a bit overwhelmed if you have to do something on like on a big canvas or a big page these are small surface items so you don't feel overwhelmed and it's a great way just to experiment and try new things and if you don't have a deck of cards you can just use a small piece of cardboard let me bring the card up to the camera so you can see the texture a bit more clearly and you can see the way the color has dried in the different sections i think that's absolutely beautiful i'm very happy with that and i'm going to decorate it now with a few little other elements i have this very naughty white acrylic marker that i've purchased and it actually doesn't really work for writing on anything but it does make really good white splatter when you shake it around so I'm using it to make some white splatters on my card. The background makes me feel like a rainbow galaxy so I'm going to decorate this with some stars and I think black is a lovely contrast that will go with it. I have this um, Kazakraft scrapbook paper which has like a gold 
typewriter print on it onto the black so it's not solid black which I think will work well and I've just punched those out with a little star punch I'm just working out if I need a few stars or five stars or three stars and before I put those on I'm also going to add some black splatter because I think it'll add well to the contrast of the black stars Once I'm happy with my placement of the stars, I'm going to glue those down with the hot glue. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see all my videos that are coming up for the full deck challenge. And I have some other videos too. I have a Facebook group called Full Deck Challenge Group. If you'd like to join that so you can be inspired and also share the work that you do. When sharing your cards, do use the hashtag full deck challenge so that we can all see your beautiful cards that you've created. I'll see you again soon. Bye.